If you have been diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, it is important to receive treatment early to prevent permanent joint damage. You may be wondering what treatments are available and which is the best choice for you. While different treatment types exist for psoriatic arthritis, the two major treatment classes are oral medications and biologics. In this video, we will discuss oral medications for psoriatic arthritis, including anti-inflammatory medications, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, and other oral medications, such as acremolast. Hello, my name is Dr. April Armstrong. I'm a board-certified dermatologist, and I have cared for many patients with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis over the years. First, let's talk about oral inflammatory medications to treat psoriatic arthritis. These include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also known as NSAIDs. Examples of NSAIDs include aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen. These medications help treat the pain and inflammation caused by psoriatic arthritis, but they do not prevent joint damage. NSAIDs are used primarily for patients with mild psoriatic arthritis. However, NSAIDs have no effect on psoriasis. Many NSAIDs are available over the counter without a doctor's prescription. NSAIDs are generally well tolerated. However, when taken in high doses or over long periods of time, they may carry a risk of stomach ulcers and gastrointestinal bleeding. Now, let's talk about disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, also known as DMARDs. Traditionally, these drugs are called DMARDs because they slow the progression of psoriatic arthritis. They also decrease signs and symptoms of psoriatic arthritis. Examples of DMARDs include methotrexate, tofacitinib, cyclosporin, leflunamide, and sulfasalazine. Each DMARD has a different mechanism of action, but in general, they work by targeting specific points in the immune system and reducing inflammation. DMARDs can be used alone or in combination with different medications for psoriatic arthritis, such as biologics. Let's talk about these medications. First, let's talk about methotrexate. Methotrexate is the most commonly used DMARD for psoriatic arthritis. Methotrexate works by slowing down new cell growth to decrease inflammation. While the efficacy of methotrexate for psoriatic arthritis is still under research, methotrexate was commonly used before biologics became available. It is still used commonly in combination with biologics or by itself when a patient cannot obtain biologics. It may take a few weeks before the patient experiences significant improvement. The maximal response to methotrexate is usually achieved within three months of treatment with a drug. Methotrexate is typically taken once a week, either as a pill or an injection. While on methotrexate, you will need blood work regularly to monitor for any potential side effects to you, such as your liver, kidney, and bone marrow. Long-term use of methotrexate may be associated with liver injury, especially in patients who have diabetes or drink alcohol excessively. Other side effects of methotrexate include nausea and diarrhea. Folic supplementation may reduce these side effects. Lastly, some patients may experience temporary and reversible hair loss with methotrexate. Women planning to become pregnant or are nursing should not take methotrexate. Next, let's talk about JAK inhibitors. JAK inhibitors work by blocking an enzyme in the cell called JAK. The result of this action is reduced inflammation. Several JAK inhibitors being studied to treat psoriatic arthritis were found to be highly effective against psoriatic arthritis. For example, the first FDA-approved JAK inhibitor to treat psoriatic arthritis is tofacitinib. In psoriatic arthritis patients, about 50% see at least 20% improvement in joint symptoms after three months. Tofacitinib is a pill that is taken once or twice daily, depending on the dose. Tofacitinib may be associated with increased rates of zoster infections. While on tofacitinib, your doctor will need to check your lipid levels and liver enzymes regularly to monitor for potential side effects. Now, 
let's talk about leflunamide. Leflunamide is often used in individuals who do not respond to or cannot tolerate treatment with methotrexate. Similar to methotrexate, leflunamide works by slowing down new cell growths to decrease inflammation. Leflunamide is effective in treating psoriatic arthritis, with approximately 40% of patients having at least 40% reduction in joint symptoms after three months. This is reported in a Canadian study. However, leflunamide may be less effective for treating skin changes in psoriasis. It is a pill that is taken once daily. Common side effects include nausea and vomiting. While on leflunamide, your doctor will also need to check your liver labs frequently to monitor for potential side effects. Now, let's talk about cyclosporin. Cyclosporin is a drug used for severe psoriasis and is used less frequently in treating psoriatic arthritis. Cyclosporin works by decreasing the excessive inflammation in the skin and elsewhere in the body. The efficacy of cyclosporin in psoriatic arthritis is modest. However, it is not recommended for long-term use because long-term use may lead to irreversible kidney damage. Other side effects of cyclosporin include high blood pressure, upset stomach, headaches, some sensitivity to sunlight, and interactions with other medications. While on cyclosporin, your doctor will check labs and your blood pressure to monitor for any potential side effects. Cyclosporin dosing depends on your body weight, and it can be taken either as a pill or liquid. Okay, let's switch gear and talk about sulfasalazine. Sulfasalazine is a sulfa drug developed to treat inflammatory bowel disease and is sometimes used for psoriatic arthritis. Sulfasalazine can improve symptoms of both the joints and skin, but the results are modest. In addition, possible side effects include a potential injury to the liver and kidneys and a reduction in blood cell counts. Patients with sulfa allergies should not take sulfasalazine. It is a pill that is taken twice daily. Now let's talk about other oral agents, such as apremilast. Apremilast, also known as Otesla, works by blocking an enzyme called PDE4. The result of the blockage is reduced inflammation. Apremilast is approved for both psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis. In psoriatic arthritis patients, approximately 40% see at least 20% improvement in joint symptoms after four months. Apremilast comes in a pill form and is taken twice daily. When you first start a Premalast, you will slowly increase the dose you take over your first week on the medication to minimize stomach discomfort. Many patients tolerate the medication well. However, some patients may experience side effects from a Premalast, including nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and headaches, and this usually occurs during the first few weeks on the medication. Some patients may experience weight loss while taking a Premalast. For more information on current psoriatic arthritis treatments, check out our video on the biologics used to treat psoriatic arthritis. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. This has been Dr. April Armstrong wishing you a clear skin day.